What's up? New movie. Not new. Came out a little bit ago last year. This year? Last year. 2017? That's last year, right? What year is it? Where am I? Who am I? What's going on? Mom and Dad. Movie by Brian Taylor. New movie. The guy, one of the guys that brought us Crank. Crank 2, high voltage. Uh, to name, uh, there's another one where you use like a video game kind of thing. Video game movie, not really a video game movie, but a movie about vi- like v- VR video games. Uh, not very good, but the Crank series I enjoy. Uh, they have a very frenetic style to uh, their directing, their storytelling. Uh, this one starring Nicolas Cage. Uh, let's see, his wife is played by. Let's call her Ann Winters. Uh, and uh, maybe not. Maybe it's Selma Blair is the uh, is the mom. But it doesn't really matter. It's a crazy movie. Nicolas Cage is the dad. The other chick is the mom. Uh, Nicolas Cage gets to go full Nicolas Cage in many ways. Uh, but this movie, since Halloween, it's almost here. Halloween is almost here. And then we'll move on to the next holiday. Uh, but until then, I wanted to clearly feature some movies that might stress you out a little bit, might be scary. I don't know how scary it would be for some parents. This might be wish fulfillment, uh, but it's a movie about this crazy phenomenon happens for a 24 hour period where parents want to kill their kids. Uh, so it follows these two kids, the two children of, uh, Nicolas Cage and his wife, Um, who are like, you know, preteen kids and high school, middle school kind of ages. And it's kind of follows them and it's they're at school. And then all of a sudden, you know, class gets let out. um, And there's all these parents outside the school, outside the fence, just super eager to get their kids out of there. Um, People are trying to hold the parents back on the other side of the fence one of the moms is like trying to call her kid over. And, you know, there's the scene where the kid's like trying to, he's like, I don't know what I should do. He's get, kind of getting held back. But his mom's like, Come on, Timmy. Get the fuck over here, Timmy. Come here, Timmy. So Timmy, I don't know if that's his name, but Timmy finally breaks free and like runs over and tries to scale this fence. And meanwhile, the teachers are trying to hold him back which doesn't really make sense because the teachers don't really know what the fuck is going on either. Like, I don't know. They wouldn't be that because they don't know yet. They don't know why the parents are there. They don't know until the kid gets over the fence and the parent gets a hold of the kid. Then the teachers and the staff know this is a serious situation, but they're already acting like it's a serious situation. Um, Like if parents went to a school and demanded them to open it, they would just open the school. They wouldn't just, like, if every child's parent, and you could see, like, you know the parents, you recognize them. No, no, Mrs. Swartzen, you need to stay on the other side of the fence. Clearly there's something weird going on. We need to hold off until... So that that kind of scene, kind of the, the beginning of where all the chaos happens, uh, maybe not believable. Not that the premise is very believable anyway. There's a lot of movies. The Signal, there's a movie, uh, like a whole, another horror movie called The Signal, where there's this... Uh, signal broadcasts and it you know once you hear it it fucks you up kind of like the ring or there's a lot of movies a lot of premises that have this thing where you hear something or see something and it flips a switch to where you need to go kill um but this one same kind of thing they don't it's not necessarily they hear anything i don't believe it's that maybe it is it's been a couple weeks since i watched this movie haven't reviewed it right away just too many things to talk about it's too easy to do a daily podcast I might need to do twice a day. No, that's never going to happen. Uh, but it's a crazy movie because it's like these kids trying to get away from the parents that are trying to kill them. So it's a, it's a, a, a nice jaunt, a nice ride through the lives of this this horrible situation that's happening. Um, but it's really it's actually a really fun movie. I enjoyed it. It kind of ends a little abruptly. But you know, if you're watching the movie and you're not really expecting it, then a little shame on you. Not really, but 
a little shame on you because it's like from the jump you realize you're not watching just a standard movie you're watching something clearly that's let Nicolas Cage do what he did you know kind of like Mandy you know like you know what you're getting into if you let Nicolas Cage go full Nicolas Cage but he's perfect in this role I mean as far as when Nicolas Cage just kind of you let him out like a wild mangy dog like a a feral cat just into the wild into like domestic situations actually not not the wild but you you bring him to like thanksgiving dinner you bring a feral cat to thanksgiving dinner that's nicolas cage in this movie destructive little little bit of a problem um but also love you know he finds he reconnects with his wife over it it's i it's a surprising movie it's one of those it's almost like a dark comedy in a way you know cuz on a certain level I don't hate kids. I don't I don't have any kids. I have no desire to have kids. I have no desire to pass on my DNA. There's nothing that my parents gave me that I'm like, "Oh, I need to pass this on." It's like I would love I would love it if I was the last of our bloodline. But I'm not. I'm sure my dad had a billion other kids and like the others my mom's side of the family, they're all fucking like crazy too. Um, but yeah, I have no desire to have kids. They're fine. My friend's kids are fine. I don't have to deal with them for any extended amount of time. You know, I can, I can kind of get out of, de- it's like, I always, it's like I, playing around kids, whatever, they're fun up until a point. And then it's just like, I am done playing these child. I can't do this anymore. I have like, I have things, I have a life that I want to live and pretending to be like a child and play around with ch- like I can't do it. That's not me. I am not like a Mr. Rogers type. I have a point at which I hit a wall and I can't do it anymore. Right? In which case, like if I was forced, like if I was a parent and I hit that wall, you know, after three months of, you know, a newly born kid, like I would love this movie. This is like such a cathartic movie, I'm sure, for parents. You know? To just like have that. Just that fantasy where they, it's like, you know what? If all the other parents were killing their kids, I wouldn't not join in. I wouldn't be, su- I mean, it's not my fault. It was the, the phenomenon, right? It was the phenomenon that made me do it. This crazy thing is, I mean, this movie is insane, but the, re- the crazy thing is there's a reality there are people in the reality, the universe that we exist in today that have at one point treated their children like this. Like, scenes in this movie probably could have been plucked from like just insane stories of parents being horrible people to their kids. So, you know, it's kind of sad on that note that, you know, this could potentially be real moments kids having to deal with these things because parents kill their kids happens happens probably regularly in real life um but at least this is just a fantasy world uh and maybe the kids survive maybe they don't i don't know i'm not gonna tell you and literally i don't remember i don't remember they all could die maybe they live it is also funny that the movie it waits a while like it's all focused on kids like children kids but doesn't you know, bring into account, I mean, it does bring into account later adult parents, grandparents, and wanting them to kill. So there's a point where Nicolas Cage and his wife are under attack. Uh, But it's a really fun movie. Check it out. If you're looking for not necessarily a horror movie, maybe a little bit lighter, maybe a little bit more fun than just your standard horror movie, go check out Mom and Dad. Uh, I don't know. It's VOD, iTunes. Check it out. Do it. Uh, InspiredDisorder.com for all the work I do at Ray Taylor for every me everywhere online and uh, have a great day everybody peace out.